All right, so it's early September. The gardening season is coming to an end. What I want to do today is I just want to do my last renovation here before the autumn. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a double pass with the scarifier today and then apply some products and then that's this done for this year in terms of renovation. Unless we get an extended heat wave or dry spell, then maybe we can do another one. But as far as it goes normally, this is the last chance I'm going to get. So let's crack on. So as always, let's have a walk over and let's have a look at it up close so we can see what's going on. Really good this year. This lawn has been the best it's been since I uh, reseeded, or not reseeded it, actually started from scratch five years ago. So you can see it's really lovely and thick. And you think, yeah, that's brilliant and lovely thick lawn, but that going into the autumn is a bad thing because what we need to do is thin it out because there's a risk now of disease, especially in a garden like this one where we've got a fence, a high hedge there, you can already see beginning to cast a shadow on the lawn so it gets to the point where the sun drops below a certain point and it never gets above that point so that area of the garden over there doesn't see the sun from October till March next year so we have to be careful that we don't get diseased. We do sometimes but this year I'm going to try something new and hopefully we're going to avoid getting that disease outbreak because fungicides are on the way out we've got to start coming up with new ideas and new ways and I think what I've got planned is going to do just that. So let's have a walk over from a distance. Scarifying today, say it's going to thin it out, but also just as normal, it's going to remove any thatch buildup that we're getting, any debris in there. A lot of leaves have fallen over the summer, so they'll be rotting down in there. So we'll get those up. But generally, it's just for that disease threat that we're taking out by thinning the lawn out today. So if you want to obtain that higher lawn standard, which we set here, these things have to be done. If you can't be bothered, then you're not going to get these results. So no matter what's going on, you have to get these things out and get them on with. So today, I'm going to get on with Ye Old Faithful. I'm going to have a little play with it first, see what's working best. We'll just do that in a sec. We'll give it two passes and then we'll see how it looks. Okay, so let's just have a look up close and see what we've done. You see now it's looking a lot thinner because we've got rid of all this bulk. Create some nice grooves too so the wind can blow through and products are going to get into the soil a lot easier. So next job is I'm going to hoover it up with a mower of choice. I'm going to try and get away with using my hater on this. I'm going to see if uh, the Bosch Rotec in the shed is charged only because it's a little bit damp in that corner over there and if I get my hater on there that's going to do a little bit of damage. Why am I doing this job when it's a bit squelchy over there? Because I can't let the rest of the lawn go just for a square meter of squelchiness over there so it'll be okay just take a bit of a battering but we'll get it back but the rest of the lawn will be perfect. If your lawn is wet through and you can hear it squelching under your feet and maybe if you put if you press down water comes over the top of your shoe then it's probably not a good idea to scarify or vertical um, because you'll just do more damage but this lawn is absolutely perfect 99 percent of the time and today is no exception so i'll go and see if that bosch is charged and we'll use that like i said just gets a bit lighter and it won't do as much damage but if it's not i will have to use the hater but I will just push and pull the mower over there and then we're not going over it with a roller and uh, flattening it and squashing it and uh, doing some damage. All right, the Bosch wasn't charged, so I'm gonna have to get my hater out and do it on number two. What I'll do is I will get to a certain point in that corner up there and then I will just push and pull then we're not doing any damage with the roller. We don't really want the roller touching any area that is wet or squelchy because you'll bring all the mud up from the, all the water up from beneath and it'll just make an absolute mess. And as we get further into autumn, it's the less likely it's going to come back just because it's not going to get the sun that much. So number two, I'm going to go up and down, do my double stripes just so I've got some guidelines and then we'll get the cylinder out and reduce it a little bit more just to polish those tips off so it's not left like with the white hairs and then we'll get some products on. All 
always amazes me how much stuff we get out. That's from a cut and the scary fowl being picked up at once. I cut it on Friday, just very quickly, just because there was a bit of rain about, just on number three with the hater, uh, knowing I was coming back uh, today. Well, I was supposed to come yesterday, but it was raining, so I come this afternoon because the weather's a bit nicer. But yeah, imagine that still being in there when we're putting more products on. You know, it feels really sweaty as it is. So we've got rid of that, thus eliminating potential risk for disease. Not 100%, but we're definitely reducing that um, risk by doing what we're doing and that's why we're doing it so that's just cut with the rotary you can see now all these little nice grooves even better than they were before so they're like little corn rows and the wind can just blow all the way through there again another way to stop the disease coming is to dry is to keep the earth flowing through the surface that's why in football stadiums they struggle because they have very little airflow going through there because of the high stadiums, especially the enclosed ones. They don't get any wind blowing across the surface, so they uh, struggle with disease a lot. But hopefully we can not have as big a problem this year. Really. I have struggled in the past, but like I say, a few things I'm going to try this year to try and reduce that um, risk going forward. All right, so what I'm going to do now is get the cylinder out and I'll go left to right. Why don't you just go over the stripes you've just created? Um, I hear you ask and that's because the mower hater is 19 inches, the aller is 17 inches so you end up having to go over the stripes three times uh, to cover the same amount of grass that you've cut with the hater so we'll go the other way and then we can just make 17 inch line, uh, well 34 inch lines going left to right. So I'm just spraying a elixir of Stella, Galactic, Grace and Equip. All right, so we're back at Peter's a couple of weeks after our last visit. We've not been since. This is a first visit back. And as you can see, it's recovered really nicely. Let's have a recap of what we did last time. So if you remember last time, we got the cylinder out and we give this lawn a real good scalping, as short as I could go. And then we did a double pass with the Scarifier, or they only show you once here. We then applied some Equinox HD fertilizer, and then we sprayed an elixir of Stella and Grace. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna spray some Galactic and some Stella, because we're due a dose anyway, and then we'll get this looking really green, and then we'll give it another coat in a couple of days, and we'll see how it looks, and we can deem this one another success. All right, that's the video done for today. All this is, is a confidence issue. You just have the confidence to do it. September is a great month for doing your renovations because the ambient temperatures are perfect. There's a lot of moisture about. You don't have to worry about drought anymore. So September is generally the best month of the year when your lawns are gonna look the best. Even on football pitches, they start to come into their own in September and that's when Grayson say theirs look the best. So what have I just done? I've just sprayed an elixir of stuff that you've just seen. That'll take a week or two to kick in. So we'll come back in a couple of weeks and see how we're getting on. But this now is ready for the autumn and the winter ahead. So until we meet again, take care and we'll see you soon.